Ooh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. This, this is it. Like this is that girl. I have not seen a lot of people talk about this scent, which is so like, up you guys and welcome back to another video so as you can tell by the title i am going to be sharing with you guys all of my personal body mist faves that i feel have the best staying power and that you're going to get um, a good bang for your buck for so these have to be pretty much the body mist that i'm reaching for currently because i do have to admit that a few years ago, I was that girl that just loved perfumes and a body mist. I had my nose turned up like can't a body mist can't do nothing for me. So I just bought perfumes. Well, you know, things change, right? So I decided to give body mist a try and I started with Sol de Janeiro. And of course, I just fell in love with the brand. And anytime they come out with a new scent, your girl is up in the store copping it. So after the whole Sol de Janeiro and I broke down a little bit more and I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and get some stuff from Bath and Body Works. So now I'm a big fan. I feel like when you get these body mists, you really have to look at the notes because the notes are kind of like an indicator of if it's going to have staying power and how strong it is. And I feel like I'm getting real versed when it comes to the notes and which ones are really going to be worth the money and i also feel like these companies that are making these body mists like bath and body works and sol de janeiro they're leveling it up the staying power and the scent is becoming strong almost comparable to a perfume so some of you guys may not agree i mean there are body mists out there that are still light and they're not going to last and if I had to pick any body mist currently, the only thing I really have is either Bath and Body Works or Sol de Janeiro. So anyway, I do want to go ahead and hop in here because I got a bunch of different body mists that you guys need to get. Now, I know some of these I'm going to show you guys are part of the SAS sale and they were like retired since they came back. But we do know that they are going to have another SAS sale during the summer. So you will always hopefully you will get the chance to cop um, some of these retired scents. So anyway, the first one that I'm going to show you guys, I love this one. It's such a fresh smell. I've definitely shared this one with you guys before. I can definitely say that when I spray this, I'm smelling it all day long and I don't have to go back and spray anymore. And that is fresh coconut and cotton, you guys. This one is that girl when you just want that fresh coconut and cotton scent and smell like you just stepped out of the laundry mat. It really smells very good. And the fragrance notes are coconut, coastal breeze and beachside cotton and this just smells amazing so this is like one of those scents when it's summertime you're going to the beach you just want that coastal aura about you this is definitely the one i spray it all year round because this is just the freshest scent and it lasts okay so the next one i have not seen a lot of people talk about this scent which is so like I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that because I really love this scent. It definitely is a dupe for another scent. And I have mentioned this a couple times on my channel and that is Together Weather. This one is a classic. This came out during the fall time and I'm so glad I was able to get it. I have not seen it since and it smells amazing. And maybe I haven't seen it since because it's a dupe for another scent from another company and maybe... <laughs> They're not going to bring it back. I don't know. But the fragrance notes are Blushing Breeze, Sugared Cardamom, and Soft Cedar. And this one oh, is so lovely, you guys. I mean, I haven't even used a lot of it, as you can see. And it's because these body mists just last. You can spray, 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 spray. And these body mists just last. But this one just smells so good. 
And yes, it is a dupe, in my opinion, for Sol de Janeiro's Win in Rio. And that's like one of my top three favorite scents from Sol de Janeiro. But this just smells so good and it lasts all day long like a perfume. So if you guys are ever able to get this one during the SAS sale or if this is in your stores now, please let me know. But yeah, together weather. So the next body mist that I have that you guys need to get because it has staying power and I really, really love this one. I know we were all going crazy for it during the SAS sale and that is Ice Lemon Pound Cake. And oh, this just has the perfect gourmand scent and it's gonna pair really well with your gourmand type perfumes, which we are gonna get into because I do have a couple of perfume and body mist combos for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned. But this one is another banger. The fragrance notes are sugary glaze icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake, and it just smells so decadent and so lovely, and it just lasts. So for my girls, you wanna smell like a whole pound cake with the frosting on top, get this ice lemon pound cake. Okay, so I'm gonna go in order. We're gonna go over the Bath and Body Works ones, and then we're gonna go over the Sol de Janeiro Body Mist. So the next one, this is a classic. I've known about this scent since I was in high school, and it has not failed. I'm so glad that Bath and Body Works brought this scent back because it is an OG, and it is a classic, and that is Sweet Pea. This, you guys, has a very pretty perfumey scent. It just smells so classic and fresh. And oh, the notes are sweet pea, watery pear, sheer freesia, luscious raspberry, and soft musk. And it says sweet pea embraces a bright and playful spirit that's forever young at heart. This smells so good, you guys. It smells like a straight perfume. I'm gonna spray some on. And you guys, you're gonna smell like sweet pea all day. <laughs> This is another one that would pair really well. Um, um, I got perfume in my mouth. Ooh. This is another one that would pair really well with a couple perfumes I have here. So I will be letting you guys know that soon. The next body mist that I have, this has to be in my top three. I'm gonna just start saying top five because I know I'm always saying top three and then I done went over like six, seven different <laughs> body mists. But this is in my top five. This is another scent that Bath & Body Works did their thing on and it has a lot of staying power and it smells like a perfume in my opinion and that is Butterfly. And I know a lot of you girls, my doves, were commenting below when I mentioned this the last time that you love Butterfly, you know. This just has a unique scent that I've never smelled from Bath & Body Works and it smells so lovely. And the fragrance notes are Raspberry Nectar, Iris Petal, and Airy vanilla and that's probably why I like it so much because that undertone of vanilla but this is a very pretty scent you guys that would pair well with a lot of your perfumes and it just it has great staying power so now we're getting down to my last three so the the last three that I'm showing you guys are my top favorite Bath the Body Works scents with great staying power and number three is in the stars you guys in the stars is such a pretty scent and this has to be a perfume in a body mist bottle <laughs> because it just has that perfume scent it's very strong you don't need a lot and it lasts all day and the fragrance notes are star flower sandalwood musk sugar tangelo white agarwood and radiant amber and you guys this just smells Oh, so lovely. Oh, it just smells so good. I can't explain it. I'm going to spray it now because I have to be reminded. Mm, it just smells great. I have this in the body wash. I'm definitely going to go and get the body butter or the hydration cream because this is everything. It's just a pretty perfumey scent. And the name for it in the stars is it because you are definitely going to be a star when you wear it in the stars. That was so corny. <laughs> the number two drum roll that has just become my favorite. I actually just recently bought this one. 
um, when I went to the SAS sale in Vegas and my mom was so mad because she accidentally gave hers away. So hopefully she can get this, um, hopefully she can pick up this scent during the next SAS sale because I believe this is a retired scent. If I'm wrong, let me know. But Denim and Daisies, y'all. Denim and Daisies is that girl. Nanny, she got the flowers. I mean, <laughs> Denim Daisies is that girl. Hi, guys. Sorry, you guys, I got interrupted. But yeah, Denim and Daisies is that girl. This is like the perfect spring um, interlude into summer scent. And it just smells so good. It smells like a perfume, in my opinion. And it is definitely a unique scent. I'm not even sure when this came out. If you ladies can let me know for my more experienced bath and body works doves, let me know because this is that girl. And I'm sorry, you guys. I know this is my third scent that I am spraying on myself, but this is it. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. This smells so good, you guys. And even though it has summer citrus in it, it's not that citrusy because I am not a fan of citrusy scents. So yeah, definitely try to get denim and daisies. Okay, my doves, this last Bath & Body Works scent that I'm going to show you guys, this, this is it. Like this is that girl. This is my number one favorite scent. And I'm going to make sure that I go and stock up and get all of these body mists, the hydration cream. Um, one of you girls said they had the candle. I have not seen the candle online or in my store. So if I got to pay one of y'all to get me the candle in this scent, I will do that because this scent has to be it for me. Bath & Body Works, this is your number one scent that you have ever created in life, in my opinion, and that is Dahlia. Dahlia, you guys, this is my baby. I love her, and she smells amazing. This is like an expensive perfume scent right here. Like, this is just it, okay? <laughs> And the fragrance notes, if you're not familiar, are Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. And oh, uh, this is it, you guys. This is everything. I, what I think, the reason why I really like this is from the Praline Musk and the Whipped Tonka Bean. It's like a gourmand, but it has a pretty like light um, perfume. Um, I don't want to say perfume. It's just like a pretty scent that kind of throws it off and maybe it's the crisp air so that it's not too much of a gourmand. It's like the right amount to just make the perfect scent ever. This is a year round scent ladies and it smells great for my men watching. Get this for your girl for Valentine's Day because get, just get the whole set for her and she will adore you because this is everything. This scent is everything. Okay. I think y'all got the point. <laughs> For my Sol de Janeiro scents that I just feel like have great staying power and that I really, now I do layer these with perfumes because I'm just extra and sometimes we just want that. Mm. And so layering these, even the ones I mentioned for Bath & Body Works, no problem. I'm going to show you guys combos, but now we're going to go backwards. So coming in at number one, Love this one down from Sol de Janeiro. And this is like a straight perfume in my opinion. And that's number 40. And I don't know how to pronounce. I think it's Chadoza 40. And that's black. It has black amber plum and vanilla woods in it. And this is a hair and body mist. And you guys, this just smells amazing. This, ugh, this is, I don't know if it's the, I feel like it's the black amber plum. I think that's what made me fall in love with this is the black amber plum in this. And yeah, you guys, as you can see, I'm almost done. And for a body mist to look like that, you know I love it. So yeah, this one, you please get number 40 if you haven't got it. And then the next one, this just is just ridiculous. Look at this bottle, you guys. This is Win in Rio. And I used to rave about this. This came out last summer and I love this down. I don't know if they still sell this. If they do, definitely going to get me another one. But this just smells good. This one, these two almost remind me of each other. 
Um, does it say the notes? Yep, because they both have jasmine in it. Jasmine, um, this one has twilight jasmine and this one has um, jasmine blooms in it. So they both have that in common. And yeah, these both just smell good. I love anything with jasmine in it. I'm a fiend for some jasmine. But yeah, these two definitely have amazing staying power. Now, this one, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I haven't been using it. But if you did not watch my shorts here on YouTube, I just did a silent review of all of my Sol de Janeiro scents. And this one, I smelled it on camera, and I'm thinking in my head, girl, why haven't you been wearing this? Because I've been stuck on number 40. But this one is about to be back in rotation, and that is After Hours. You guys, this one smells so, so good. And I think where Sol de Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro is getting me is this Midnight Jet, or not Midnight, is this Jasmine. The Jasmine note in these are just heavenly... And this one has amber woods in it. And this smells like a straight perfume. This almost reminds me, you guys, of um, almost uh, almost of MFK Satin Mood. I think that's what it's called, Satin Mood or Satin Oud. But this smells so pretty. Yes, I'm just going to spray a little on my arm. This, oh, guys. Oh! This is it. This is that girl. Like, and this is definitely like when you're going out to a nice dinner with your boo. Please use this. And I'm definitely about to tell you guys what you can layer this with. But this is it. I don't even know if they sell this anymore because I think this was part of that whole limited edition collection. But I'm kind of hot that I didn't get two of these because this is so pretty this has a beautiful scent you guys okay oh that smells so good oh my gosh okay so those are all of the body mists that have the best staying power that i feel like you can wear and you don't need a perfume but now we're gonna get into some combinations okay so first of all i told you guys about sol de janeiro 40 with prada paradox but this scent right here, I think it's the Jasmine because the Prada Paradox has Jasmine. So this is really going to pair well with a lot of Sol de Janeiro's body mist. So you, this is your the most important thing to get is this Prada Paradox. These two together, I have never paired together, but I'm telling you guys, this is about to be my number one combo because I can already tell that this is about to give me so many compliments. So you could pair the Prada Paradox, like I said, with the 40. You could pair it with the After Hours. This Prada Paradox, it also pairs well with Sweet Pea. Um, this Prada Paradox, it just, it's a great perfume to mix with a bunch of Bath and Body Works perfu um, perfumes, body mist, more of their like lighter scents. So like the Sweet Pea and the, I, I think why this one, the Sweet Pea mixes well is from the pear and the soft musk. Very, very pretty combination. Um, butterfly. Butterfly is also another good one to mix with um, Prada Paradox. I just sprayed it on my arm. And you guys, it smells so amazing. And then this one is, like I said, a dupe. Together Weather is a dupe for Win in Rio. So these two definitely mix well together as well. Um, and then, of course, I have the Win and Real empty bottle here. So, yeah, that's the combinations that you can um, mix with Prada Paradox. So, the next combination that I have, um, I don't even know if I, I think I shared this one time on my channel with you guys. I'm going to chop and screw up the name of this. It's a deep teak perfume, but it's called La Papier. Lou Papier. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's basically a skin scent, which basically. It's a, if you don't know, a skin scent is like a lighter scent that kind of goes with your body chemistry and it's not overpowering. That's the objective of a skin scent. It's not one of those perfumes that is just loud. So this one is definitely obviously a great perfume to layer. And I have to say, because um, this one, I don't remember the notes, 
but I know it's supposed to remind you of like jasmine with um, fresh steamed rice. I know that sounds weird, you guys, but when I smelled this in the store, I was like, oh no, it's a wrap, I'm getting this. And we all know deep tea perfumes are not that cheap, but this is actually a Eau de Tole. Um, I know I'm saying that wrong, so it's not actually a perfume. But this one with the fresh coconut and cod and bath and body works mist, these two are a uh, match made in heaven. This is a skin scent. This has that nice, strong, fresh cotton and coconut scent. And these just go well together. And you guys, I'm going to leave all these combinations down below <clears throat> because I know the Prada Paradox has a million different combinations I share with you guys. But these two are a match made in heaven with each other. So definitely try out those combinations. Now, this next set of combinations are for my gourmand girls who just love that nice, sweet, decadent scent on themselves. The first body mist that's gonna go with these perfumes is the Ice Limit Pound Cake, of course. And this pairs well with the Kaoli Oogasm. These both have vanilla in it, I think. No, the, the, it has to have vanilla in it because it says sugary glaze icing. It doesn't per se say vanilla, but you can definitely smell vanilla in the notes of vanilla in this. And then obviously this is Oodgasm Vanilla Oud. And so this is definitely a stronger scent, but these two pair together are a match made in heaven. Um, you can also pair the sweet lemon pound cake with this new fragrance oil that I just bought, which is vanilla musk from the mat. This pairs well together as well. Um, I would even pair this with the vanilla oud. And then of course, you can also pair the Kaoli Oodgasm with the um, Sol de Janeiro number 71. This one is a caramelized vanilla and macadamia. So whereas in this is a vanilla scent that's not as um sweet this one is very 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 sweet so these are just the perfect balance of vanillas and caramel and you are going to smell decadent and someone's going to want to just put you in the oven and eat you okay <laughs> so um those are for my gourmand girls i don't know what i would call the paradox combinations maybe like that girl because those scents are just amazing to me. And I don't know if I mentioned, but you can also pair in the stars with that Prada Paradox. Pro something with the notes, which I'm going to leave here for you guys. It just pairs well with almost all of my body mist. Okay, the next one I would say is for my girls that want to smell so fresh and so clean like bath bubbles. This combination is going to get you right. The perfume that we're going to use with these two different body mists is by Replica, and that is Bubble Bath. Now, this one, I do have to admit, you guys see I use it, but I've had it for a while now, so I really didn't use it because we all know these travel sizes do go fast if you're consistently using them. But I got excited because I found some body mist that pair well, where now I think I will use the rest of this bubble bath perfume. And the first one is a Sol de Janeiro, uh, a Sol de Janeiro body mist, and that is Do Not Disturb. These two um, pair so well together because with that bubble bath, and this was almost like, a, to me, a, the same scent. It has that like fresh out of the shower scent like a bubble bath pretty scent. And the notes on this one is airy mimosa flower, warm musk, fresh linens, and soft vanilla. And these two are like a match made in heaven together. Now the next one you could pair with the replica bubble bath is beautiful day. Beautiful day, I picked this up during the sass sale and these two together are amazing. The notes on um, the beautiful day are sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis wild daisies pink peony and fresh woods and oh this smells so good you guys i didn't include this with the rest of the stand power body mist because i have to admit that i have not used this enough to claim that it has stand power but i do know that this would go well with the replica um with the replica bubble bath so yeah this smells great guys so if you guys have not picked up bubble bath, please do. This is a very pretty scent. It reminds me of Garnier shampoo. And just imagine with the bubble bath, you are going to smell yummy. 
that is it for my combinations all the body mists that you should have in your collection because those are my faves and i definitely feel like i got my money's worth buying those body mists but anyway um this is like impromptu and you guys know i always make super long videos because i love y'all okay um so what I'm going to show you guys is what I was running through traffic, speeding through traffic to get. I had to go across town to get it because unfortunately my Bath and Body Works, they didn't even know what I was talking about. But I love you girls and I had to get this and review it for you guys because we all know that Valentine's Day is coming up and this collection from Bath and Body Works is specifically for Valentine's Day. So I don't think that they're going to have this after Valentine's Day. So if I were you guys, I would be inquiring with my store if they have this scent. And it is Sweet Heart Cherry, you guys. And this is how the packaging looks. Super pretty, super Valentine's Day um, aesthetic-y. And I did end up getting the body wash. And you guys know how I feel about body gel, body washes. But I got it because this is all they had. And then I also got, obviously, the body mist. Now, the notes on this are wild cherry, crushed pistachio. And with vanilla and what I've been hearing from the girls is this is a dupe for um, Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And I have smelled that one. And I do have another body mist that is a dupe for it from Finery at Target. So I'm highly interested to see if that is the truth. So let's go ahead and spray it here. Mm. Yeah, this is giving a more cherry scent. You know, with the, with the Tom Ford Lost Cherry, it's more of a um, woodsy scent to it. But this is given like pure cherry and I love it. I do love it. It is very, very nice scent. It says bring out your inner sweetness with the scent of juicy cherries and savory pistachios. And I'm pretty sure probably the dry down, you could probably get more of the pistachio and the whipped vanilla. But yeah, definitely get this, you guys. And you know what I'm about to do. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. Uh oh. I cannot stop getting this body mist in my mouth. Mm. Yeah, this smells good, you guys. Make sure that you get this scent for Valentine's Day. I'm even excited to use this body gel. Oh, that smells so, so, so good. Now, they did have the body cream. I didn't get it because I wanted to make sure that I love this. But, you guys, I'm going back for the body cream so that I can layer because this right here is amazing again i see myself mixing this with the prada paradox and the um win in rio because oh this had this smells great and i think it would smell good i even think this one i did bring this you guys but i didn't share it with you guys i think this sweetheart cherry would even go good with the baccarat try it you guys i think that this may be a match made in heaven I got that, and then, you guys, you know I was complaining last time that I picked up the wrong body mist. I got, um, I don't even remember. Oh, what is it? I can't even think, you guys, but I got the wrong body mist. I thought I had got Ballet Nights, and I didn't, but I was able to dig up Ballet Nights because the Bath and Body Works that I went to, they had a couple more bins for the SAS sale, so I was super excited that I was able to get Ballet Nights, and the fragrance notes are Wild Plum, Glowing Amber, and Tonka Cream. And you guys, this smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. I know I love it because of the Tonka Bean. Anything with Tonka Bean, I love. But yeah, definitely get the Ballet Nights. This is definitely a good one. So I also picked up a couple things from Sephora, you guys. I'm trying to get in all my little hauls with y'all in this video. Um, these are definitely products that are hot and popping right now, and I definitely want to share with you guys. I've been excited to try them. It's only a couple things. That's why I included it in this video. The first one, this one I just had to get because this is the rave of skincare right now, and it's hella expensive. But luckily, when I went in there, I was about to take the dive and get the $100 cream, and the lady comes out. 
because she went in the back at Sephora to check for me. She's like, we actually have a $30 one and the $60 one because everyone bought the $100 one. So y'all is big balling out here, but your girl ain't. So I was happy and I went with the $60 one and that's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And let me open it up for you guys. And it says the magic dew of youth and luminosity in a jar. It says that the Tilbury Tap Facial Technique is a five-minute facial massage. Massage is known to help promote elasticity, reduce puffiness, and revitalize, and revitalize skin's appearance. And this is an award-winning magic cream. And you guys, the girls are freaking raving about it. It says it is a complexion booster. Um, define contours, define jawline. I guess you could do all this with this magic cream. You can smooth furrows, which I guess is the lines up here. That's amazing. I just got this for hyperpigmentation because y'all, when I get acne and they go and the bump goes away, the, it scars. So that just irritates me. And I heard that this is great just overall for natural glow and just to make the skin just more like not puffy but just more youthful looking so i did get this cream and this is how the jar looks and i don't think i will regret purchasing this because everybody talks about this shawl charlotte tilbury um magic cream it doesn't smell like anything but yeah so they have this size for 60. they have the smaller one for 30 if you just want to try it out and then they have um, the big, big one for a hundred. I guess the Sephora kids are taking us out the game, y'all, us millenniums. If you haven't heard, <laughs> I just recently heard about the Sephora girls that are like nine years old and they're going to Sephora and they're like spending five and six hundred dollars. It's like, come on, moms, like there's a limit to some things and I would not be letting my nine year old go up in Sephora spending no $500 on no makeup. They're going in there. You guys can find this on TikTok. They're literally going in there and buying drunk elephant products that say for wrinkles and stuff. And they're buying these products. It's crazy. But anyway, I also got this um, Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser because I be seeing all the girls with the little glass bottle and I didn't feel like buying the huge bottle, which is pricey. So I did get this tiny one here because I just wanted to do this. <laughs> it's a glass bottle, you guys, but it's a superfood cleanser. And I'm literally like really almost out of all of my good like soapy facial cleanser. So I did want to try this and I got the little one which was chilling and then you know how you wait to be checked out and they have all the stuff going around the line well i got it from there and i want to say it was under 20 bucks so we'll definitely let you guys know if this becomes a fade and then the last thing that i got which i am late to the bandwagon but i really didn't need it before until now and that is the faded topicals um, and this is a brightening and clearing serum. And all the girls are also raving about this on TikTok because it's really supposed to help with hyperpigmentation, with acne scarring, which is what I have on this side of my face. And this is really supposed to fade out all of that. So it says, fade the look of your most stubborn marks, scars, and spots. This serum is packed with purposeful actives that let you kick back and let your worries fade away. And you're supposed to use once a week to start and work your way up to daily use. So I could finally use this because I did share this with you guys um, finally. But yeah, this is everywhere. I've been seeing topicals for so long. And now I can let y'all know if it's worth the coin. Okay. So yes, you guys, that is it. Those are the body mist with the same power that you guys need to add to your collection, as well as my favorite um, perfume and body mist combinations that are going to have you smelling lovely. And you guys, this, um, I, I just sprayed off camera this Sweetheart Cherry with this, re, this Rio, with this um, Sol de Janeiro 40. Oh my gosh, you guys, I smell like heaven right now. Oh. <laughs> this smells great together so yeah i got a lot of different combinations that i share with you guys 
Let me know if you shared, uh, if you shared, let me know if you tried any of these combinations. Um, but yeah, definitely make sure that you get this sweetheart cherry because this is it. This smells very good. And um, yeah, picked up a couple things at Sephora. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here, come on. Welcome to the BJD fam. I would love for you to stick around. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys all like this video and that you definitely comment below. Let's engage below. Your engagement definitely helps my channel. I love all of you guys. Um, I don't in particular have a scripture. Like I told you guys in a couple videos ago, my life right now, it my scripture of the 2024 is Jeremiah 29 11 and I'm not going to chop and screw that up so let me go ahead and pull it up I should know it by heart you guys but me and my memory is like we're just not there so Jeremiah 29 11 states for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future, you guys. And that is what keeps me going is that scripture. So please make sure that you guys are using scripture every day as your daily bread because that's what keeps me going. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.